Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't think it suits you. You weren't even born when this thing was around. What about this one? Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it suits you. Okay. Well, you go pay and I'll catch up. All right. Yeah, see you, Steve. Hey everyone, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on commenting about clothes. So today, we are going to imagine that we are going clothes shopping, we're going into the change room, we're trying on some clothes, and I will give you some vocabulary you can use to talk about how the clothes fit, and then we are going to look at some common comments you can make about other people's clothes uh, or about your own clothes. So first, imagine you're in the change room and your, your friend is with you and maybe your friend is trying some clothes on, okay? And your friend comes out and they're wearing something that is very, you know, maybe very sporty or loose or baggy. Don't know what these words mean? Let me explain them to you. So, if someone comes out of the change room and you want to comment on it, you could say, it's... And if you want to modify, you can say, it's a bit, like a little, or it's not, hmm, enough. And you see all these words here, all these adjectives, and you can basically put, it's not, hmm, enough. Um, plus any of these adjectives if you think it's not something enough, okay? So first, uh, let's just start with all these words and explain them. So, ah, it's very, or it's a bit sporty, okay? Now, sporty means athletic. So imagine, you know, something you wear for cycling, something tight, something for the gym. Uh, yoga pants, anything like this. Wow, ooh, you look very sporty, or it's very sporty, or maybe mm, it's not sporty enough. It needs to be more sporty, or sportier, if you will. Next, we have loose. So think of loose, right? Lots of space. So if something is, hmm, it's too loose. Okay, you can say it's loose, it's a bit loose, it's too loose, or ugh, it's not loose enough. I want it to be more loose, to be looser, to have more space. And a similar word to loose is baggy. So those of you who were children or you grew up in the 90s and you remember MC Hammer, and his MC Hammer pants that were super baggy. Uh, they were called parachute pants, but they were super baggy, right? So like you're wearing bags on your pants. Uh, usually many like cargo pants, cargo shorts are very baggy, okay? So also similar to loose. Next, the opposite of loose is tight. Whoa, it's too tight or it's a bit tight, a little tight, or it's not tight enough. I want it to be tighter, okay? Uh, next, stretchy. So think of the word stretch. Stretch, stretch your arms. Material that is stretchy is usually, you know, used for sports, um, but you can also have like, you know, formal dresses that are stretchy. Um, clothes for pregnant women are often stretchy. You have like those mom pants with the extra stuff for the pregnant lady. Anyway, some of you know what I'm talking about. If you have ever seen a pregnant woman with like pregnant pants, they're very stretchy. You can stretch them. So you can say, eh, it's a bit stretchy. It's too stretchy. Um, it's not stretchy enough. Some of us like our pants to, you know, have a little more space to, to be able to stretch them a little more on either side. Next, wow, it's very flashy. Think of like the flash on your camera. 
So if an outfit, if someone's clothes are flashy, this means they get your attention. They're like a, an advertisement, a billboard, like a flashy commercial. Think of like their outfit has almost lights on it, not literally lights, but it gets your attention. Like wow, that's very flashy. If it has very bright colors, for example, it can be very flashy.、Um, plain. It's too plain. Or you can say it's a bit plain.、Uh, plain means normal, boring,、uh, bland is another word you can use. Check it in the subtitles, which are in this video. And、um, this just means you know it's it's normal, it's regular, like a white T-shirt. It's it's plain. There's nothing special about it. It's just a normal shirt. Okay. And finally, get get used to using this word. It's a very good word, especially if you can't say the word comfortable. You can say comfy. So comfy is like a diminutive form of comfortable.、Um, it's a more of an informal way to say comfortable. You can say, "Ah,、oh, it's very comfy. Yeah, yeah, this feels good, right? Like that shirt." Personally, I think both shirts were too big on Steve. But Steve is going to the gym lately, and he thinks he's getting bigger and bigger.、Yeah. He's very delusional sometimes. It's okay. All right. So you could say、um, if you're trying on pants, if you're trying on a shirt, if you're trying on a dress,、um, you could say it's too tight or it's too loose at the back. Like if I say, "Oh, it's too loose at the back," or "It's too tight at the back." It's too loose or too tight at the front. Like, ah,、oh, this is too loose or too tight at the front, or on the sides. You can also say around the sides. So it's too tight on the sides. Okay, like my sides, or it's too loose on the sides. Okay. All right. So that's the changing room. Let's move on to this side of the board. Where we have some common comments. So, your friend just steps out of the changing room, or maybe you're not in the changing room anymore. Maybe you know your friend comes to work or comes to school, and they they're wearing a new outfit, some new clothes, a new ensemble, if you will, and you can say, "Wow, it suits you." If something suits you, it means it is good, like for your body type, or it's good for your style. Like, yeah, that matches your personality. It matches your character.、Uh, if something isn't good for that person, like、uh, it doesn't suit you. Okay, so it's not good for like your personality, your character. I don't think of you when I see this outfit. So maybe your friend is like really, I don't know. Maybe they're normally like very sporty, and then one day they wear something that's very baggy and loose, and you think, well,、oh, no, 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 it it doesn't suit you. Like you should be wearing clothes that are, you know, better fit for you. Okay.、Uh, next. It brings out your eyes, or it really brings out your eyes.、Um, so this is a common compliment that you can give to a person, where if they're wearing some type of clothing, or maybe a piece of jewelry like a necklace or some earrings, something that is a complementary color to their eyes, and you notice their eyes more because of this, you know, piece of clothing or piece of jewelry. Can say, wow! It really brings out your eyes. It makes your eyes like the star of the show. Okay, so you can say,、uh, it really brings out your eyes, or、ah, it brings out your eyes. Like I notice your eyes、uh, when you're wearing this necklace or these earrings or that shirt. So like、uh, a blue shirt, and if you have blue eyes, maybe you know the light blue shirt will bring out. The darker blue or green eyes that you have, or brown eyes, depending on the color. I'm not very good at fashion,、um, so I don't know what colors match. 
I just know black works with everything. Okay. Next, uh, similar to it suits you, the, the easiest thing you can say, wow, it looks good on you. Okay. So if something suits a person, it looks good on them. Don't forget the preposition, right? It looks good on you. Uh, so repeat this one after me. It looks good on you. Good. And the opposite, it doesn't look good on you. Um, you can, you know, comment on other people as well. It doesn't look good on him or ooh, it looks better on you or it looks good on her, for example. Okay, next, uh, change room. Uh, so it doesn't fit, like it's not a good size. So uh, if something fits, it fits well. The opposite is it doesn't fit. Now you see, I put the word anymore. So maybe you have some clothes that you used to wear in high school, but now you're like 28 or maybe you're 40 and you think, yeah, I'm going to try this t-shirt from high school and uh oh, it, it doesn't fit anymore. So anymore means it fit me in the past, but it doesn't fit me now. The size is not good now. It used to be a good size, but it's not a good size now. Okay. So, uh, we all have clothes like that, I think. All right. Um, so your clothes, uh, usually we say like your socks. This is the most common situation. Don't match. So, uh, again, I'm not good with fashion. So sometimes, you know, I will wear like, a red shirt with blue pants and uh, some people think that that doesn't match. It's not a good mix of colors. Uh, or maybe you're wearing one sock that's black, one sock that's white. I think black and white matches very well, but normally your socks should be the same color, uh, but you say uh, your socks don't match. Okay, so uh, they don't mix well. Uh, or they're just the wrong socks, okay? So uh, your clothes don't match. Your, sh your socks don't match. Your shoes, you know, don't match. And very, very nice and easy thing to say. Ah, nice outfit. So you've heard me use the word outfit in this video a few times. And you might be screaming at, at your phone or screaming at your laptop. Alex, what is outfit? The subtitles say outfit. What is outfit? Uh, your outfit is, I also use the word ensemble, uh, which if you're a French speaker, you will know what that means. If you're not a French speaker, don't worry because your outfit is just all the clothes you're wearing. So it's the mix of your shirt, your pants, your shoes, maybe your hat. Uh, so your whole complete, you know, look. So if someone has a nice jacket, nice pants, everything matches well, you can say, wow, nice outfit. Okay. You look great today. Uh, you look nice. That suits you. That is a good look for you. It's a nice outfit. Okay. And finally, huh? It really complements your hmm. So I put a hmm, a blank, uh, because this can be almost anything. So imagine, you know, this it, this can also be anything. If I wear um, a necklace and the necklace is, you know, green, there's a green emerald in the necklace and my eyes are green, I say, oh, it really complements. If something complements, it means it goes well with something else. Now, this is C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-S. And um, don't think of the word complement, which is C-O-M-P-L-I, like to say something nice about a person. This is complement, uh, which means it matches, it goes well with something else. So my uh, green emerald necklace 
ah, it really complements your eyes, or it complements your jacket, or if I have a tie, say, wow, that tie complements your outfit. Um, it goes well. It matches your outfit. Okay. Are you tired of talking about clothes? No? Okay. Well, let's practice. Uh, just to finish the video, um, let's do some quick pronunciation. So we will do this one fast. I will just say each adjective one time and each of these phrases one time and you will listen, you will repeat. Hey, if you're on the bus, it's okay. The person next to you won't think you're like, you know, doing something weird. Uh, just do it. This is for your benefit, okay? So repeat after me. Sporty. Loose. Baggy. Tight. Stretchy. Flashy. Plain. Comfy. Okay. And continuing to here. It suits you. It really brings out your eyes. It looks good on you. It doesn't fit. Your clothes don't match. And let's add one more to here, um, just in the moment. The colors don't match. Nice outfit. It really complements your jacket. Okay, very good. How do you feel? Not bad? Yeah? Okay. Now, if you want to test your understanding of all of these words and phrases and comments, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel on YouTube. Uh, and you can add me to Facebook. I have a fan page. You can also add me to Twitter if you want to see uh, what I'm up to and, you know, get some more English tips there. I give those and I post some random pictures of Steve and stuff. Uh, I posted a picture of Steve, you know, a while ago, and I'm going to keep posting pictures of Steve because he likes the attention. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Hmm. What are you wearing? Ah, yeah, that suits you. It really does. It really does. Okay. Nice outfit. Till next time. Thanks for clicking.